Hey, what's going on RC drivers? Check out the FMS LC80. This thing is so cool. It's a hard body mini crawler and it's got LED lights. How cool is that? And blinker lights. It's doing awesome on these little wood blocks I stuck down to my workbench. I think we need to take a closer look at this truck. Oh, there it is, extreme close up. Here's the FMS Toyota Land Cruiser 80. And this is a great looking 18 scale, four wheel drive, electric, ready to run. And it looks like it's just gonna be a lot of fun, whether you're crawling indoors or outside in front of your house, whatever, even head down to the park with this thing. It just looks killer. Now this is a hard ABS plastic body on this and it's painted. The paint job on this is actually really good. There's a light metallic flake to it. Just love the look of it. And I can't find any imperfections whatsoever looking around the body. I also like that it has clear windows all the way around. I mean, they could have just cheaped out and, and probably put decals on here, but they have an interior inside. There's their seats front and back, steering wheel. Uh, I could see people going and taking this thing apart and uh, really detailing it up. And I think it would be worthy of it because it looks that good. I mean, even the Toyota emblem on the grill, clear headlights, clear tail lights. We've got a roof rack on this, spare tire out back, a ladder for the roof rack. Uh, even down to the emblem on the back and uh, even <laughs> defroster lines on the windows. That's really cool. They put a lot of detail work into this rig, like the separate mirrors on here, windshield wipers, even the snorkel. Take a look at those fog lights up top. Love that, uh, especially the yellow lenses on there. They could have probably just, uh, you know, put clear lenses on there, but they went the extra mile and put uh, yellow lenses on top. Pretty awesome. Check out these wheels and tires. These are actually a 1.0 beadlock wheel and uh, it's not a licensed tire. These kind of look like, uh, what's what's a, a Wrangler MTR? Uh, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong on that one, but really nice looking tire, soft, and I think there's even some foam in there. I might be wrong, but it does feel like there's foam in there. Ah, oh, nice looking rig. Just uh, probably just stare at that, put it on the shelf and stare at it when it's not in use. It would be definitely perfect uh, you know, to put on display. Check out that Rhino bumper up front. Looks pretty tough. It mounts to the chassis. Same with the rear bumper. Great detail on this FMS. Love the look of it. All right, now let's talk about what's underneath the hood. And yes, I really meant let's check out what's under the hood because the hood pops up so you get access uh, where the battery is. And now you can see all the electronics on the inside. So we've got a two-in-one receiver, uh, speed controller combo. Here is your on-off switch. Uh, it just kind of uses one of those standard mini plugs and the battery slides in right back here. I actually have it on charge. So right after I talk about this, we can go out and drive it. But it comes with a 7.4 volt LiPo battery, 380 milliamp. Uh, but right here in front of the receiver speed controller unit is the servo. It's a chassis mounted servo. And then all of these wires here are for the lights. So it's got LED lights in the front and in the rear. It's got blinker lights. Uh, even the tail lights light up as well and they get brighter when you go in reverse. And the really cool factor here is you could go shut some of that off with the radio system. You could actually use the third channel switch to shut the headlights off on it. So uh, this that radio has got a lot of functionality to it. We'll get to that in a minute. But uh, that's what it looks like when you pop up the hood on this thing. Uh, again, plenty of room to go and slide that battery pack in there, easy to get out. And it actually has magnets to help uh, close it down. So actually when these wires aren't in the way, let's see here. Well, you, you get the point. There's magnets here that will help secure it down when those wires are set back in there properly. Uh, but that's really cool that you just ac access everything through that. Now underneath, you know, we, we need to talk about some of the chassis features. Obviously, I'm not gonna pull this thing back apart. I had it apart before uh, getting all those wires back in place. A little tricky, definitely take a picture of it before you take the body off of this thing. Um, but the interior can come out. It looks like the, there's a bunch of screws on the bottom that will allow you to pop out the interior if you wanna go ahead and detail that. But let's talk about the chassis and some of the other features here. So this is an aluminum chassis on this truck. Really nice looking one at that. Uh, even the shock towers are integrated into it. Uh, we've got four link in the front, four link in the rear uh, for the suspension. And then the only thing about this truck that I am not overly thrilled about is it does have coilover suspension, just friction suspension. So you could kind of just see this guy bouncing around here. It would have been nice if there was some oil in those shocks. 
uh, maybe they have an aftermarket option for that. Uh, I'll have to check out the option list, but uh, they do sell parts for this truck. If you need parts, you can get parts separately. So that's really cool. All right, uh, back to the truck itself. Uh, we talked about the suspension uh, up front, just some simple link steering, kind of a dramatic angle coming off that servo horn up front, but it seems to work pretty well as you just saw me driving around here on the workbench. Uh, the drivetrain, it's got your basic center transmission to it. I, I believe everything is ball bearing uh, throughout this truck because I do see them up front. Don't quote me on that, but uh, it kind of looks like they went ball bearing with everything from what I could see. Uh, it also seems like there is some metal gears in there. I haven't taken the drivetrain apart, but I was looking at the parts list and saw a mention of that. Uh, but then it comes down to these really nice looking axles. And for a small truck, the axles look really, really good. And uh, you know, there is some stuff to hang up with or hang up on, but uh, for such a small rig, what are you gonna do really? Uh, these are locked, so you know, it's gonna have maximum traction when you're crawling, but really nice shape to the pumpkins on this. And then even up front, the axles are, are universal axles out to the wheels, so it's gonna have maximum steering throw. And even the, the steering knuckle looks really robust. Large bearing in there too, which I, I like seeing on such a small rig. They did a really nice job on this thing. Other than the shocks, that's my only uh, spot where you know I'm gonna nail them on it. it. It just would have been an absolutely perfect rig if it had uh, oil-filled shocks on there. But nonetheless, Really, really nice truck. This is $180 and I think it's worth it. I mean, you're getting a fully detailed licensed body on this thing with some really impressive features underneath. Uh, let me talk about the electronics uh, that you, I didn't talk about, and that's really just the motor. Uh, it's an 050 55 turn motor. And, uh, you know, again, from the little I drove it so far, it looks like it's got plenty of torque to get this thing up and over some obstacles. So we definitely have to go and test it outside. But let me show you the radio system too, because this is really cool for a tiny radio. Yes, it is small. Check out the grip on that. It's got, got this carbon fiber look to it. I really like the details FMS uh, really put into this thing. Uh, check out the dip switches on top. That actually, those in that red board there, that allows you to go and tune some speed controller settings such as uh, forward and reverse and actually drag brake as well. Uh, you got all the trims that you need. You're reversing, uh, dual rate, steering trim. So uh, this is a, a very functional radio system. There is a third channel that allows you to turn on and off the lights. And I don't think that fourth channel is operational for anything on this rig. Uh, it does, as I mentioned, come with a battery. It comes with one of those basic USB chargers, an instruction manual, and then just a box wrench so you can go and take off the tires. All right, guys, let's go outside and see what this thing does in an off-road setting.
All right, so it's time to wrap up the performance of the LC80, and this thing just looks really cool out there on the trail. The scale detail on this really sets it off and it makes you excited to drive it. I mean, I brought it to a couple of parks actually because I wanted to get some different scenery and I was just enjoying the drive of this truck. It's a lot of fun. It's not super fast. Obviously it's not supposed to be. It's a trail rig meant for crawling around on trails. And uh, for that, it does a great job. You know, the steering in here just fine for cruising through dirt over small pebbles, uh, you know, even through a little bit of sand. I did try mudding it. That didn't work out so well. The uh, the mud was just a little too slick and loose and it just kind of dug in. But uh, I did try that out for you guys. I wanted to get some money in. Uh, maybe another time, but I was trying to do uh, some inclines and that's when I really noticed how bouncy this suspension is. And, and you can kind of see it when you're just trail driving as well. The thing just jitters around and you know, even that slow motion action footage I just showed you, you can see it kind of just bouncing around. And it does take away from that scale factor a little bit that you, you want to enjoy out of a rig like this. Uh, and I've already started to look at shock options for it. I pulled out some RC four wheel drive shocks that I had and matched it up and I think it's gonna work well. These shocks really needed some oil in it, in my opinion, to really just make this truck absolutely awesome. And uh, I think once I put those in, I think it's going to be so much better to drive around and really enjoy on the trails. Uh, but again, it's really cool. It, it is capable for a fun trail rig. I mean, you know, head to your local park with it, head to your backyard with it if you've got like a flower garden out back or something like that. Or again, you know, just throw some wood down on a workbench like this. Uh, I just stuck that, uh, those two by four pieces down with some two side tape and drove over that and kind of enjoyed it after I shut off the camera in the beginning of this video. It's that fun of a little truck, but the scale factor is totally there on it. Are there any downsides to this rig? Well, one of them is the blinker lights. They seem to stay on, and I actually figured out that this channel four button here changes through different modes on the lighting system and allows you to have like strobe lights and stuff like that, but you can't completely shut off the turn signals, which is kind of a bummer. And then the other thing is, is the shocks. So we've already gone through that. You know, a oil shock upgrade would be nice, and uh, I didn't see one listed on the Horizon website. They are distributing FMS, but I didn't see it listed. Maybe they'll have it in the future, but uh, looks like those RC four-wheel drive shocks will work. This is a cool rig. Uh, for the scale factor alone, the ability to just throw this thing onto your shelf and enjoy it as a static piece too, I, I think it's worth the money. Uh, you know, all the lighting features that are in there, uh, it's a cool little rig. And if you want something small scale, so you could just enjoy it anywhere you go. This is definitely one to consider. If you're an online shopper, I'll have some affiliate links in the description below. If you're a local hobby shop shopper, that is awesome. Definitely support local hobby shops. Uh, while you're down in the lower section, let me know what you think in the comments. Hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell. Throw the video a like, and we'll see you back soon for some more RC Driver videos.